Welcome back. All right, so the New York Rangers went out tonight and they just continued. I've been very impressed with the New York Rangers and their performance over these two road games. And on the flip side, for New Jersey, this is experience. This is them seeing what it's going to take in the playoffs. So the series is not over. They can absolutely go into New York. They can win in New York. I think it's easy to forget that for most of the season, New Jersey was almost impossible to stop on the road. So for New Jersey, they need to channel some of that energy. They're going to need to go to Madison Square Garden. They have to win game three and then likely have to win game four. Now, there's been three to one comebacks, but it feels like those are kind of not as prominent now as they used to be. At any rate, it's Shesterkin versus Vanacek in this one. Uh, uh, and they had uh, Patrick Eliash there, towel waving. So, you know, they had him there trying to fire up the crowd. I thought it was a nice touch. Uh, things get shovy on the first whistle. So this, the, the emotions were high right out of the gate. Uh, good back and forth, early hits. Uh, Hamilton has a shot that's blocked. The shots are three to one for the Rangers at three and a half minutes. Tarasenko has a rush chance that's defended. Things get pushy on a hold by Vanacek. We then get a power play for the Rangers. Kreider fires one wide. He is so dangerous on the power play. The Rangers cycle. Kane then fires one high. Uh, Zibanejad has a shot that's held. New Jersey does kill that off. So that was a little different than the first game, right? Uh, then Goudreau and Smith were chatty, and I thought maybe they might drop the gloves later. I don't think, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. Uh, Hedl then misses wide as the Rangers press, starting to control the game a little bit. So this is where you start to see the Rangers kind of taking over, and New Jersey hemmed into their own zone a little bit too much. Mikkel has a shot that's caught and held. We then get a power play for the Devils. Uh, they had no shots during their power plays in the first game. They would get shots in tonight's. Uh, early clear by the Rangers. Devil's not able to set up. They go offside, but then Severson has a shot that's held once they finally get set up. So they get a shot on net, different than in game one. Howla then fires one wide. They cycle, and Igor holds. But then, just before the power play comes to an end, New Jersey scores. It's Howla from McLeod and Palat. That's at 11.44. So big goal there. Uh, Howla's scored with, I think they said, six different teams in the playoffs. It's this bizarre record that gets tracked and it's a lot but it makes it one nothing new jersey and it felt like okay this game is going to be different at least that's how it felt at the time uh hamilton fires one wide as the devils look for another uh fox then has a shot that saved the rebounds cleared hughes had a rush shot that was a rush chance i should say that was saved uh with 41 seconds left the rangers get a power play Kreider has a tip shot that's held uh canes then denied there was a cycle to end and then we get some punching, which leads to four on four to start the second period. Uh, second period, shorthanded Kreider rush is saved. Everything gets killed off. And then Truba fires one wide as the Rangers press. So nothing out of those power plays. Schneider then has a shot that saved the rebounds blocked. Then there's a glove save on a rush chance for Jack Hughes. And then through a screen, it's tipped in. Uh, Tarasenko does that from... Uh, Fox and Kane at 553. And when I say tipped in, it went off of one of New Jersey's defenders. So, yeah, Tarasenko puts that one in. I, I don't know the Vanacek saw it. Uh, Kako's then denied on a rush. The devil's clear. And this is where you get the idea that this, this could be trouble, right? So then the Rangers press at seven and a half minutes. Shortly thereafter, there's an offensive zone penalty by Miles Wood. The Rangers get a power play. I want to say, too, New Jersey fans, not very happy with Wood, and it seems like Ranger fans online are ecstatic with Miles Wood and think that Lindy Ruff should put him in the top six. So uh, the Rangers with that power play, there's an early clear by the Devils, then there's a cycle by the Rangers. Panarin has a shot that's blocked, and then Kreider scores. He tips it in because that's what he does. Uh, Kane and Zibanejad with the assists at 9.57. That is three power play, power play goals in the series for Kreider. Uh, Devils, they really needed to get that one back. I put right there, Devils need to get that back. Like this game, it felt like was on the precipice of just completely falling out of their control. So uh, the Devils would press, they draw a power play. There's an early clear by the Rangers and then another. The Devils cycle a bit when they get in the zone, another clear by the Rangers. That's killed off and then out of the box, Truba has a fast break, he's denied. So uh, things get pushy when he's denied and the, the puck saved, but you could feel that that power play didn't really do for New Jersey what Devils fans would have wanted. Panarin then has a rush chance that's defended. Brad has a net drive that's held. The Rangers go back to the power play, and they score on this one too, and it's Kreider again. Uh, and it's another one. He buries it in close. It's a tip shot because that's, that's what he does. Kane and Fox with the assists at 16 minutes. Uh, Patrick Kane tonight showing why the Rangers went out and got him.
Uh, this is why the Rangers went out and got Tarasenko and Kane. These guys are playoff performers. Uh, Devils press with two minutes left, and at the horn, things are kind of pushy. New Jersey's frustrated. They're down 3-1 to one after two periods when they've been ahead 1-0 after the first. So third period, there was a post for Hughes. The Rangers cleared out. Early press by the Rangers. Uh, Marino was then denied. Brat has a shot that saved. The next shot from Marino was saved. The shots are 3-1 to one for the Devils at four and a half minutes. It felt like at that point, if New Jersey got that next goal, momentum, you get the crowd back into it. However, uh, after forcing a turnover, Patrick Kane buries it himself at 634 on a net drive. So Patrick Kane gets a goal to go with his three assists on the night. Uh, absolutely fantastic game by Kane. And all of a sudden it's 4-1, to one, and that really does put it out of reach. And we're six and a half minutes into the period. So Devils fans... Not not happy campers. But Ranger fans that were there seem to be having a really good time. Uh, so Hughes has a shot that's held. Uh, Igor really isn't giving much to the Devils. He wasn't giving up rebounds. He was very positionally sound. Uh, Ranger fans getting louder and louder because Devils fans are exiting the building. So it definitely makes it sound like there's more Ranger fans there. Not getting drowned out by Devils fans when the Devils are behind 4-1. to 9-13 left. The Rangers get a power play. Kane has a shot that saved. The rebounds uh, held. Uh, that was killed off, but the Rangers press afterwards, and eventually they score again. It's Kako from Hedl and Mikola at 13-05. So the kid line goes out there, and they do it again. And really, the Rangers getting the same kind of contributions from the same players that they got them from in last year's playoff run. They look quite good. Uh, we then had a fight between Schneider and McLeod. Uh, that Schneider held his own there uh, against McLeod, who seemed probably a bit more motivated because they're getting embarrassed at home. They're down 5-1. to one. Uh, And the refs start handing out misconducts. So this is clearly... <clears throat> okay, so to me, this is how it looks. I think this is the third game now in the playoffs I've already seen where referees are handing out misconducts late in the game. And it's it's it can be something minor. You know, guys are against the boards and they're arguing, you know, yeah, what do you want to do about it kind of thing. Referees are like... And you see them like like this, like you're gone, like not go to the box, just you're gone, get out, go. I think the league uh, has let referees know if things are kind of bubbling up to the surface late in the game and it feels like you might be getting a bunch of fights, uh, just feel free to send them to the showers. Feel free to just get get them out of the game, send them away. Um, and I'm saying three games, but I'm just thinking over, it might be five games where I've seen this, where players are getting misconducts. And it's noteworthy because it doesn't feel like this is something that's happened that often in the past maybe in a really ugly game but now it feels like before the game can get really ugly they're just sending guys to the showers and you know what it's probably the right call uh so at any rate uh devils emerge from that with a power play and we get more calls and more players tossed out on the next whistle uh then becomes four on four we get igor chance because ranger fans are quite you know what's interesting too is there were like the mocking igor chance by devils fans in the first and by the third, we're into those solid Igor chants from the de from the, the Ranger fans. Uh, so uh, there's a near miss for Trocek on a net drive with 238 left. The Rangers get a power play. They don't score on it. They don't need to. And they just bring this one home. The 5-1 to one score gives the Rangers a 2-0 series lead going home. It's the same score as in Game 1. Um, the three stars in this one, Kane, Kreider, and Tarasenko. Uh, shots on net, 14-9 Rangers in the first, 9-5 Rangers in the second, 9-7 New Jersey in the third. Final shots, 30-23 for the Rangers. Power plays, the Rangers 2-7, for seven, the Devils 1-4, for four, so 11 power plays. Hits were 39-39, to 39, so hits stay really high in these games tonight. Shesterkin, 22 saves on 23 shots. Vanacek saves 25 out of 30. So there's a lot of things that need to change, but... Lindy Ruff, after the game, said, uh, I have a lot of faith in this team. And he basically said, we're going to fight it out. We're going to battle it out. And a lot of Devils fans answering with, where's that battle been the first two games? So uh, losing by a combined score of 10-2 to 2 at home in the first two games doesn't necessarily bode well for the trip to the Rangers. But remember, remember, the Devils very good on the road all season. They're going to need to find that in the playoffs if they're going to keep this series going, if they're going to extend it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.